Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, as the regular season is officially complete. And now, we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next, after this. Alright, I know what you're thinking. I think it's time for another one. It's Carl Anthony Towns ready to rematch against Ja Morant. The Timberwolves and the Memphis Grizzlies are back. It's the second game of the NBA playoffs in the Western Conference. Right now, I have me and me phone, and welcoming back is Fan. Yay, thank you very much here. First time to be here for the postseason. It's certainly not very great. They're better than ever before. Not really sure what is up with those guys, but this is the uh, jerseys. This is the classic? Well, we're doing this classic just a little bit uh, change up to do here. It's blue, green, and black. And the other one is white, red, black, and totally gray. Okay, I have never seen them before. Well, <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining me around here. I guess I'll join in with you guys. Yeah, come on in. We can all feel like we're ready to go. And the most important only thing that we need to know is that the Grizzlies already won the first game of the season for the postseason in the playoffs. Are they looking for another chance to win the second time? Or will it be the Wolves tying the series up with 1-1? One, one? We'll find out after the game is over. And then next time it will be the Suns and the other players that we usually call that one, the Pelicans, to start here on Saturday. That will be happening here on Son of Beast. So we wanted to add things up here to try this one again to start it all over. And then bringing it back here will be Heat and Nets for the next spot starting on Monday. So with that, let's get going. It's game time, folks. Let's do it. I'm with you. With you too. Downtown Memphis. We're back here for the second game of the night. Of the NBA playoffs, this all turns out to be just like that. But this is all the basketball that we take. There's a lot of folks, and we will bring Allie back here on a on a court line to take the start. And with all of the uh, all the other support, they also bought something too. We've seen the Anthony Melton bringing out the best plays in the season, 10.8. But now last five games was even more than this season. I don't know anything about the Anthony Mountain. I have never heard of it. But that time, I think it might be a little bit more better to see one. Key matchups in between those guys, Carl Anthony Towns against Steven Adams. And it will be D'Angelo Russell against Ja Morant. On the court, we're ready to stick things off. It's Chris Finch, pretty head coach. I think there's a lot more happening here. Maybe. Well, in between those guys, well, you never know. They might be turning out things just like they always did here in the first game. That is right. Everything is might be uh, turning out great. The ball is up, and the Wolves will win the tip-off here to start the second game. Fueled up and ready for action. Right now, D'Angelo Russell has only scored here so far. Last couple of games in the first game, it was hard for him how he had built and trained his muscle, how he had in the way here in fruit. So guys, D'Angelo Russell, he's always like putting up a great, great, great run. I mean, excuse myself. What, what is your, what is the key here for one of the uh, Timberwolves, guys? Well, I, I'm pretty sure that D'Angelo Russell could definitely uh, have a lot more intention, and sometimes he can play here on offense that he had. But maybe the uh, Grizzlies can definitely uh, go for an R1. We're not sure who will it be, but uh, you, you know, everything counts. Call Anthony Towns, make the drive here, and they up lead by two. Here's Morant. He hasn't scored big yet. Morant slammed it down! We have a first one surprise victory! John Morant is looking strong and goose. 
There is no stopping him now. Well, that's for John Morant, he knows that one here. He says, I'm alone, here I come. That was your preview here, just like happened in the last game, just, but now it is happening here. The Slam Dunk, presented by AT&T 5G, ultimate internet access from your device. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound without a missing option of his own. Vanderbilt gets a piece of it, but it's John ja Morant with the first foul, re-released on Memphis Grizzlies. Shooting two at the free throw will be Jared Vanderbilt. Now we already have saw that the dunk was already in there in time. Ah, uh, yeah, and I, I know that Vanderbilt gets things in there, but I don't know if you if you want to re want to recap this. If it was a uh, a, a backwards 360 windmill, uh, that's kind of like like very hard. I don't even know about that. Maybe there might be somebody. So. Maybe someone can remember it. Vanderbilt gets the first free throw in there. And for him, guys, his last game of the average has maybe been pulled off here after a loss against the Hornets beating him in overtime, getting defeated here. The tie from the game had been lost in overtime. Yeah, we already have seen that one. I'm pretty sure that, that it was definitely close. But all of a sudden, I think the Hornets have already made a solution to tie the game up and then win it again. Now Morant gets, a, gets the ball, almost deflected away. Morant driving in the paint and he scores up two. Morant has two points in the game. Patrick Beverly on the other way to make the attack. And they are trying to walk around the other players. Well, that's just can't go wrong with that. You might need to just try to look for it in the drive and get better right in it. The rebound was chipped in the way. D'Angelo Russell on Jackson Jr. gets covered off. Now he goes right to Beverly. Beverly, pass off to Edwards. In the elbow, out of a miss, and it falls, tipped away by Jackson Jr. Jackson Jr. receiving his first rebound here for game two of the, of the playoffs. Brooks outside, but covering Edwards, Anthony Towns rejects the shot. And here we go again, and Adams going up. One on the shot clock, and he got it. Just like that before, you can't just make mistakes if there's a shot clock winding down fast, or else the shot clock will be expired. Vanderbilt right to Towns, around Adams, and the drive scores again for Carl Anthony Towns. Four points in this game, we're under two minutes left. Carl Anthony Towns gotten really better at that point. I don't know if, he, if you, you guys can recall that one. Maybe he's doing well. Right. Three-pointer, average are up. It's a Brooks taking that one trail lead here for the Wolves. Beverly, right back to Edwards. The Wolves moving the ball quickly around. Carl Anthony doesn't hit that number bound in the two-point transition. Morant with the ball on Carl Anthony Towns. Bain inside the paint, covered on Bradley. Now he finds Jackson Jr., just six to shoot. Bain fires it up. And another miss here for Bain. That will be another miss stop here for Memphis Grizzlies to, stay, to step in for the first quarter. Well, those guys really didn't really have that right advantage. Maybe they want to fix it, but they were shooting a little too early at that point. Not really well at all. Edwards finds Towns. Right inside, goes up. Rebound is off on Adams. Adams received his first rebound, and now it will be Bain in the free in the uh, free point range in the wing. Now he goes right to Brooks. Brooks inside, rebound again by the Russell. Beverly up. Now we go right to Carl Anthony Towns with just under 20 seconds. Minnesota trying to try to free himself lately. Everybody's getting around here. But this shouldn't be ending it here just like they did in the first game. 
Rebound by Vanderbilt. Nice D by Adams. Half court shot. It won't be in there in time. The first quarter has ended with 12 to 11 score. It's tight. It's tight. But I think they're going to need to rehydrate it. We'll be right back for this second quarter after this. Uh, probably be more of a backline builder. Talk more, get more help for the rotations because, you know, depending on what team you play, there's a lot of specific things you got to do to guard a certain player. And we're just about to start the second quarter. Now, of course, Jackson Jr. rarely knows his defense. But most of all, his effort to make the ability is his responsible to try it again. Wow, D'Angelo Russell, did you see that move? Yeah, I did catch that. What a great play here for D'Angelo Russell. They're just going quite big here. And I know what D'Angelo Russell did do. He really likes to take the liver step. Oh, we checked away by McDaniels. And but the but the putback here has pulled up again on Clark. Clark officially just gotten better at it. But not to say about his words or, or even turnoffs, they don't have to just try to like get right into it. Now Jones. Blocked the pass by Russell, but Jones holds on the ball. He goes in. Rechecked away by Russell. Oh man! Reed with the ball. And they really helped it out, pick it all up. Reed just did keep that one happening. And also D'Angelo Russell too. He definitely did it again. Wow. What a fantastic play on defense. Here's Concar. Clark rolls over to Melton. Melton up. Drive off. Almost turned out to be a turnover. Jones tries to reset from top. Going in. Clark up. Anderson in. And he rolls it inside. And will roll it in here for the net. It is another intense matchup here. They are trailing by one. Fade off. Again. It's another one for the backhander to release. That will be a Koji with the first bucket of the night. Koji really got a, a, a great work out there. But what the whole time is putting into a lot of transition on his attack, he knows that his difference ability for offense and defense gets there and gets better. Russell right to Okoji. Now he turns off to Beasley. Beasley right to Russell back to Okoji. Now he right up and over to McDaniels. Goes up and away, and it's no, no good here for Minnesota. Anderson with the rebound, and then now it's Jones picking in, and a foul releases on a Koji. First personal, first team foul on Minnesota. It will be two shots coming up for Brandon Clark. Brandon Clark got, a, got away with him at that point. He was almost going to make that drive, but that was a lot of a good foul call here for the refs on Minnesota. The first shot for Clark goes in. They really got it all. With all that look here, I think that Clark really knows that one. Russell and, and of course, McDaniels comes off. Beverly and Prince are checked in. And three players from the Grizzlies are checked out. Melton, Conquer, and Williams is checked in. Two players are moving in from the other end. The second free throw from Clark won't go in and didn't pick up the lead. Beasley right to Okoji. Okoji right to Beasley, back to Beverly. Beverly bounce past the Prince, right around Clark, and a no good shot from, from the, uh, from the sideline. Concar against Beverly. Passes to Williams, back to Clark. Over to Melton, with two minutes left in the first half. Now he goes right off to Concar. Screen on Clark. Gets away. Going in. He got it. The two-point lead is on Concord. Great shot here. I know that his, his timing is just a little off, but now you know you get the fact. 
Great one shot. Beasley, oh, he goes in for the drive, and that will be fouled on Memphis. Brandon Clark receiving his first personal, and Beasley will head to the free throw line to shoot two. Players on defense didn't really age at all. But one thing a moment importantly, that when you're going to get on defender, you got to go right away and try to like attack the ball. You don't want to like mess on somebody else to hit that shot. You want to get right in there and then get right in the game. Beasley hits the first free throw and the new changes will be released here for the Wolves and the Grizzlies. The Koji and Reed are checked out as uh, Edwards and Towns are checked in. And along with the Memphis Grizzlies, all five players check out. Only Zion Williams stays on the court. Morant, Baines, Jackson Jr., and of course the, the, the man for himself may be a little bit off. Williams. What a great D for Carl Anthony Towns. No foul is called on Minnesota. What a great play here on D. I know he did really well, but you might want to be careful if, he, if he's trying to attack on somebody or try to get around with the other way in where he was going. Finds Carl Anthony Towns. He goes up at the fade, moves in. He will make that shot. A number two point change up for Minnesota as it'll be six points for Carl Anthony. Just under a minute left here for that first half is Jackson Jr. He goes in. Off target on the end as Carl Anthony picks up another rebound. He's doing really well. She shows up. He knows his worries about his coverage. He just definitely did get there. Now rolling off again to Prince is being bad released. And a turnover is on Minnesota. Now Baines against Beasley. Just under 30 seconds to play in the first half of the game. Goes right to Williams. On Anders, on Ed Edwards. Junior for three. Got it! He count that one here for a two points. But if it's a one point lead. Well, it's not really that quite tough though. Nah, no challenge to yet. But mo most of the plays definitely got well. Beasley for two. And that one goes in now. Another switch back goes with a three. Three points. I, I, don't, I don't hear that call. I don't, I don't think it wasn't two or three. Well, they have to challenge that. They should have challenged that. Morant. No problem here. One point leadoff change. And that will end the first half here. 25-24. Close battle. But the match might be right. We have a chance to catch up on the sideline. Let's go down to Ali LaForce. Ali. Thanks, guys. I'm joined with Coach Taylor Jenkins. What's the focus as you look forward to the second half? Just I mean, not in our pace. You know, everything starts with our defense. When we pick up our own team, we've got to get some stops. We've got to keep them off the free throw line. We've got to get out of the run. They're showing a great crowd in the paint, but just trust the pass. Everyone's got to trust each other, get multiple actions, get some good looks, and hopefully they'll fall for us. High expectations for Coach. Thank, Thank you, you Ali. We'll be right back after this. Right back. Second half coming up. Hope you enjoyed the first half. Let's give you a quick recap of Grizzlies and Wolves. here for the first half. Bye for now. Let's head back to Memphis. And we welcome you back here for this presentation of the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports. The third quarter is about to start. It's 25-24 run. As of John ja Morant, he really dominates his run. Of course, he has always known how he plays. He knows that his team can do best that he has ever done before. He is trying to be the all-star of the game. I don't know what to say about his rank, but, you know, well, you know, other plays don't have to uh, count on. He's like, a, he's like only one tough guy. 
Junior making a drive inside, and a lead it up by three. Great drive here for Jackson Jr. I'm pretty sure he might be doing it really well. Getting better at least? He might get there. Fade off. Back right to Edwards. Back to D'Angelo Russell. Backs up again. Finds Vanderbilt. Now he goes right to Russell. Three on a shot clock. Three points for Beverly. And another miss by Minnesota. Minnesota's are out shooting too quick and too soon. But that's what you need to do. You need to get right into the defender and get better on the play. Don't lose him. Three again. Off base. He's a, he's a free guy. Not just a free, but, uh, but if you say three-pointer, but that's, that won't count. That, yeah, that's a two-pointer here. Yeah. I, I messed that one up. Do you think I, I'm joking? No. Well, looks like you are. I'm joking a little bit. Oh, well, don't, don't mind me. I, I've always have done it a lot. Sometimes I joke around here. When, whenever I'm not on broadcast, I just always do that. Well, you do always. <laughs> Oh man, I, I don't know what to tell you this one, but we gotta we, we gotta keep back this one game. Be on a crazy lookout. Towns back to Beverly. Oh, almost got turned over again. Edwards, he has it all. He makes a three, and now they're tied by 29. D'Angelo Russell making another assist. That will be number three. D'Angelo Russell, he has. Has, he, he's, he's keeping it up there very quickly. Well, without playing with him, I know that the Brooklyn Nets are going to be having a hard time to find uh, D'Angelo Russell. But not to worry, this play can be very tough. John ja Moran is fouled. He's fouled by uh, Carl Anthony Towns. That will be his first foul on Minnesota. Another team foul. John ja Moran will head to the free throw line to shoot two. Just 3 7 remaining. Two shots. And Moran hits the first free throw to take the lead. New changes coming in for Minnesota and for Memphis. Four players are checked out. Edwards leaves in to the shooting guard. And the other team players, three players checked out. Three players checked in, Anderson, Goncar, and Melton. And he knocks both down. They lead up by two, and we are down to 3.07 to go. Russell right to Edwards. Back to the McDaniels. Now he switches over to Okoji. The screen will be helping him out for McDaniels, but it won't be happening here. Slam dunk, dunk! Akoji with the assist, and they are still even up. I don't know what's the point with this one, but it looks like the screen was being rejected away for some reason. But I know the players are getting their better because they made a quick reaction time. Oh, whoa. Oh, excuse me with the interruption. John Morant, he slammed kill. And that was your AT&T 5G Slam Cam, the internet access of the, of the connection to make your world even more better. And it's sponsored in the NBA. Not sure what they did, but that's what uh, they usually call make it sponsored. Like I just said here before, because the player of uh, uh, McDaniels really got a good drive, he has gotten better at that point. I know he's all, we're all seeing him, but that may be him with a lot of work on his abilities. That's going to be a lot of, a lot of uh, attention for this player of Anthony Edwards and of course McDaniels, other players too. And we have a chance to look at the mobile one block of the game. For Minnesota, it was Reed. Reed. Read it carefully. Read the block. Read the ball. I know he's just game better sometimes. He gets there really well. Not just too much for him, but uh, what a great deal. Just about two minutes remaining in the third quarter. And another missed shot here as Adams has the ball. He finds Klunkar. And a three second violation is on Steven Adams. It will be turned over by Memphis. New changes here being released for the Grizzlies. Steven Adams and Klunkar out. Williams and Clark are checked in. 
Minnesota and Memphis still in even shape. Now he finds Beasley. Beasley back to D'Angelo Russell. Now he goes right to a Koji. We're around Reed. Phase it through. Now he goes, gives up to go find a, a Koji. Reed for three. Got it. And that will be a three-point lead for Minnesota. 12 on four runs in the last 224 per minutes of this game. Ah, uh, yeah, well, it looks like Reed did that one. And that's what's easy. Nobody's on him. He was just all alone. Now the foul has been released out again on Minnesota. D'Ampany melts into the free throw line to shoot two. And that was a Koji with another foul. Be careful with the Koji. Do you know that sometimes the defensive players are not putting a are not putting up a good uh, good body slam. Too much bending and might be slamming it on uh, on the on each body parts if it's on the chest, on the arms, or or even on the neck for the part of the shoulders. The Anthony Melton makes one, and now the changeup will be Prince checking in for Akoji. And that's good on the second. Grizzly trying to attack. They're trailing by one once again. It's a close call. Maybe you want to get back into that one game. And you got to make it quick. Russell right to Beasley. Russell back off to Big Daniels. Up again. That's a great drive. And he makes a number two pointer for Big Daniels. That's four points for Big Daniels. And they are in the lead by three. Uh, nearly approaching down to the nearing completion of third period. Here's Anderson inside. And he dunk it through. You count that in. Mike Daniels. Uh, I I have never I never seen what his uh, his drive is. He should have done the same thing, just like Anderson did, but not for long. Anderson knew it in the paint. He goes all over the board. He's like he shows up. Beasley for three, gets away, and they are trying to go back with another streaking three-point win in each players. Now Anderson against Prince, again with a drive, it's missed out by Melton. Wolves still in ahead, they're trying to pick up their way around. Russell finding McDaniels. 10 seconds to play in for the third period. Russell backs off to Beasley. And the flight, and he stepped out of bounds. No shot called here. No shot for McDaniels as he will be checked out. There are two players checked out, D'Angelo Russell and Reed. Carl Anthony Towns and Patrick Beverly are checked in. One more change off. The third quarter is in. It's 41 to 37. Fourth quarter is up underway, but who will win the second game? Will it be the Wolves with a with a lead series to be tied? Or will it be the Grizzlies with a two-point lead series ahead? Find out after this break. And we have a moment now to check out the State Farm assist of the game. My timing is just a little bit off on that point. I know one player. It's definitely for him. Michael Beasley, after D'Angelo Russell with a pass, now he knows his stuff, he just got a little better at it. I'm pretty sure he does it really well. And I think for this timing, I think he might be going for it again. Now the fourth quarter is being released out. We are back here and for this part of the FedEx Forum in Memphis, Tennessee. Beverly right to Prince. Of our overhead went on offensive three second violation on Towns. He had the ball, but he went on the paint. You had an easy call already. You can't be staying in the paint that long. If you stay, if you're on the paint and can't move, well, three second violation is called. So you're gonna need to avoid it. Towns on Adams. Now he tries to face the face the push off. Bang for three. Missed again. Adams with the ball. Bang Jones for three. He got it. 
It's a two point, two point score for Bain, and now they're trying to answer back. Just about 420 left. Minnesota lead by eight. And now it will be moving downward to three. Now Vanderbilt, back to Beasley. Shot clock to five, Beasley, and he got it. That's another two points for Minnesota, of Beasley putting 11 points in the run. Michael Beasley, how could you understand uh, uh, how every player gets there in front? Well, my, my work for this, this job can be a little bit challenging for, for Michael Beasley to be in here. But his regular season, no problem. Oh, watch out, Beasley gets a dunk. And I do not know what to say. Malik Beasley, he slams it in there. And then goes with a soaring bye-bye moment in for the second game. He does that all the time. Beasley just slams it. He keeps it going with the pressure alive. But he's not, not like looking for an open man. Now he goes right to Joe Jackson Jr. Making the three. It's no good. Prince with the ball. He passes off to Beasley. Back over Towns, and he had a dunk. Almost went down on the floor, but Steven Adams would have wished that he didn't make the foul. It wasn't on his purpose. Jones on Beverly. Screen rejects him. He now he goes right to Jones. Jones, no foul is called by Minnesota, and Vanderbilt has the pressure back. I don't see any uh, calls on, de on the defensive foul players inside. But it's very that uh, hard when you're understanding what's going on. I mean, I mean the, the, the fans are really, are really trying to uh, listen to their call, but they haven't heard of it. That was supposed to be the, uh, to be the uh, defense foul here, and they should have given them a free throw. I don't know what's happening here, but... The referees are trying to make it silent, but it's a lot of clean defense. Beverly Payne, five to shoot. Inside, he does it again. Carl Anthony Towns gets 10 points in the game. Just about two minutes to play in the second half of the regulations. Now the timeout has been released, called on Memphis Grizzlies. Just about 2.02 left. And guys, what we need to know about this one is all the players of the Grizzlies really have a dominated effort of his uh, ability. We're sure, but he could definitely try to pick up the run and then go back the other way. I'm pretty sure they're definitely doing it too. Maybe that time it could be uh, a lot of hard tricks to make it count. Maybe that time we might do this one. Uh, a great play in our offense, but there might be somebody else who wants to like, you know, Go for the other drive and then try to make a win off. Maybe the upper man's can be definitely uh, be smart enough to take the drive. But if they don't exist here, well, that isn't the way that they wanted to treat to get right into it. And that's because of him and the other uh, players. They know they have the rehydration on. Now let's present your New Balance player of the game as this one goes out to game two, Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns really has gotten better into air. What a great play. A nice effort here on a strong drive. They're not putting him a lot of a, a lot of point average on the run, but he was just just well enough. He just got better at that point. And Anthony Towns, he knows he could try to do, take one in game three if they if they wanted to do it again. Now we're on two minutes to play here in the fourth quarter, and Moran finding luck. There he is. There's a two-point. Fade away, and with a floater. They're about bench outscoring Grizz's bench by nine. Now they are still trying to make their way in the game. Whoa, what a pass, what a drive. Oh man, Edwards has gotten better into their play. I have never seen that play go quite so long like they did. <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you that, but that was a great drive. And what a show here for Job ja Red. 17 points, 5 in the mid-range. I'm hoping there's another chance for him to make the lead. Van Edwards for 3. That counts it in there. And the Bulls are, are taming their way down to the rally of the series. 
Now Moran against Russell. Going in. Moran, no good on that two-pointer. Beasley out and a wing. Now he goes right back to Russell. Now he goes right back to Edwards. Now it goes right back to Beasley. Goes right to Carl Anthony Towns and just about a minute to play in a regulation time. Three points. You bet it counts. D'Angelo Russell receiving another three points. And with all that being said, it's just what they did. Yeah, D'Angelo Russell, he knows his strengths. All the numbers that he played, it gets better. Moran, short on the drive, layup, and he will count that bucket in there. Russell, passes off to Beasley. Right back to Russell. Back over to Edwards. Edwards, right to Beasley. Try to work his run attack, and he puts it back up to Russell. Right over to Vanderbilt, up around, and it's no good by Vanderbilt. Another rebound for Jackson Jr., and now it's Bain in the wing. 20 seconds to play in the regulation time. Russell against Baines. Rolls up. He makes it in there. Number two pointer for the Grizzlies, but it won't be enough to make the win. D'Angelo Russell closes it off as the Wolves tie the series up 1-1. That means they will be off and ready for game three in Minnesota. Your final score for tonight is 57-59 to 47. What an outstanding play here at that time. I'm hoping this John Moran to be another huge player of the game. But right now, it's been taken over here on Carl Anthony Towns. Great job with this game. What a fantastic work here. And that will do it here for the second game of the NBA playoffs. We'd like to thank you for watching for this game. And until always, we will be back here for the next Eastern Conference matchup. It will be another one to go bad on the angle if we see the Celtics and Raptors here back at Boston. Now let's present the three star players of the game, starting with Bam. Thank you. Now let's go ahead and get started. Number three. Turned out to be just one for him, but not, not too quite a bit. We have is the only player on New Balance. It's Carl Anthony Towns. 12 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, and just a great block he had. Well, not to tell you what happened here, I think that this dunking effort could be just one. I think there might be more for him to play in Game 3. And now let's take it off to Meatbone for number 2. Number 2 on my list might be showing what they have gotten in here so far. And that was Malik Beasley here for 15 points. Only one dunk is this one. And one steal. Putting up a great effort of 19 performance run. Sometimes the other players can get right on it. But not to worry, he's better at it. Now for number one for Son of Beast. Number one, only have just got better. It's higher average here. Better than other players that made some points. That was Java Rant, 19 points. Two rebounds, one assist, and just great two dunk performance of 22 running effort. And that will be it. Thank you for watching, and we will see you all again for the Raptors and Celtics. Then, stay tuned for the next game. This will be happening here on Saturday. It's the Suns and the Pelicans. Until next time, peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA playoffs on NBA 2K22 dial. Fan, thank you so much for coming, and we'll see you again on the next following games. You're welcome. And this has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Check out other games that we have already commentated on the board. But now, we are gone. Take care, folks. Until next time.